St. Louis Closet Company is where you can go to drop off some unwrapped new toys, and uh, they're going to send it off to Toys for Tots. If you drop it off today and tomorrow, St. Louis Closet Company will give you a $100 gift certificate just for your troubles. We teamed up with St. Louis Closet Company to help kick off the holiday season and the Toys for Tots season. Jennifer Williams is our small business guru. She's the owner of St. Louis Closet Company, and your normal monthly segment is this week. Good morning, Jennifer Williams. Good morning, McGraw and Kelly. How are you Good guys? Good morning. Uh, we clean up sufficiently after Monday's, Tuesday's broadcast? You know what? It was it was phenomenal. We had a great turnout. It was so fun to have all your listeners come and visit. We collected boxes and boxes of toys and have continued to collect toys uh, since you guys left. Talk about the guy who dropped off. Yesterday, yeah. we had a gentleman pull up with a pickup truck full of new toys and he came in, he said, I've had your closets in all my homes. I love them. And here's some toys. A pickup truck. That is so <laughs> awesome. Full of toys. I know. It was wonderful. Just wonderful. That is fantastic. Oh, all right. Goodness. So let's get to it. You are a small business guru, a guru, if, uh, if you will. And um, as a small business owner yourself, you were a small business owner from the time you were, what, 10? You opened up a lemonade stand when you were 10? Well, I did. I babysat. I shoveled snow. I cut grass. Right. Um, but my real first job, I was 14. I worked for Baskin Robbins Scooping Ice Cream. Aha. Uh -huh. Look at that. Uh -huh. The empire be began all the way back then. <laughs> when did you know you wanted to start a business? And, 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 and I guess, did you just jump in with, with both feet? Well, you know, I grew up in a family of entrepreneurs. My grandparents owned a grocery store and ran that their whole life. Um, both of my father and my stepfather were entrepreneurs. My father had a wallpaper hanging business his whole life. And my stepfather, as you know, was a fuel funny car racer. Right. And then he got into uh, the rep business with computer hardware and software. And the first company he represented a real small, unknown company called Apple. <laughs> it was really nice. <laughs> really nice. All right. Um, so when you started St. Louis Closet Company out of your garage, how did St. Louis help you get there? Well, you know, I, I have always been, obviously, a huge fan of St. Louis. I was born and raised here. But St. Louis is such a big, small town. Um, especially for people who grew up here. I know you're not from St. Louis, but I think you quickly found out that St. Louisans support St. Louisans. Right. Everybody loves to help. Everybody loves to do business with other St. Louisans. And for me, I grew up in Kirkwood and went to Kirkwood High School, and I started my business in Kirkwood. And so it grew from there. All of my high school teachers, the families I used to babysit for, everybody started supporting me because I was from Kirkwood. And then it grew from there. And now it's St. Louis. And everybody, you know, is two or three people removed. Everybody knows everybody. Right. And when you're in business, that really, really helps. So have you always been like an organizer? Was it no surprise that people said, this makes perfect sense for her to start something like I this. I was always very organized. In fifth grade, um, my mom likes to tell the story. I wallpapered my closet with Time magazine covers. <laughs> I went to Target, and I bought red plastic hangers and boxes and organized my closet. That was in fifth grade. So I oh started my back then. goodness. <laughs> um, St. Louis, when you look at it, is one of the best places to start a business. I, I think St. Louis is probably the best city. We have some of the lowest housing costs in the United States. Um, therefore, the employees and the talent in St. Louis is very, very affordable for small businesses and startups. Um, we have low energy costs. And time and time again, when you watch the news, St. Louis has the lowest gas prices. Right. That's huge, especially for a business like mine, where we have 10 trucks out on the road every day. Keeping gas prices down makes right. a big difference to the cost of sales. St. Louis is also becoming a bit of a tech hub, too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. St. Louis is becoming a huge tech hub. Um, you know, Jack Dorsey, Twitter. You know, just a little company that little like company. Twitter. Right. Um, you know, and a lot of our universities, just recently, the Princeton Review and Entrepreneur Magazine listed St. Louis among the best cities for entrepreneurial colleges. That's huge. We have two of the top, St. Louis University and Washington University. And these universities are doing 
phenomenal programs and offering classes and getting the students involved with the community and therefore hopefully keeping these students in St. Louis. Yeah. Did and it's- you, when you started St. Louis Closet Company, did you use any, um, uh, not grants, but uh, incubator sites or anything like, like that, or were you just on the front lines on your own? I borrowed uh, $5,000 from my mom, and I opened up every credit card <laughs> that they would allow me to open. So I, um, I was not a traditional startup. However, you'd be surprised how many small businesses start that way with right. their own savings, with loans from friends and family. Um, but St. Louis has an unbelievable angel network, venture capitalist mm-hmm. network. We have some of the best banks that offer small business loans. And the SBA guaranteed business loans right now are really, really wonderful. They are low interest rates, term loans. They're amazing ways to start your business if and you don't have the money. For women Sorry. also, they, you know, for female entrepreneurs, that's what I love, seeing someone like you and other women who are really making their way um, in St. Louis. Well, St. Louis, once again, supports women businesses. Mm -hmm. And I know that um, both Washington University and St. Louis University have incredible programs for women entrepreneurial classes. Um, I've worked with both universities in little think tanks to talk about what types of classes women would be interested in taking, what classes would be helpful for actual business owners. Um, My husband and I talk to a lot of college classes and high school classes about entrepreneurship and you know giving back to the community is wonderful but but seeing there's there's such a need um for women businesses small businesses and i think st louis is really fulfilling that need it's a neat story also we should give a plug for talison technologies who's our partner on the tv side uh talison was started by the st louis county incubator small business incubator now they're signing contracts all over the world for energy consumption. So, I mean, it's a it's a neat story in and of itself. Uh, St. Louis Closet Company. What's going on with St. Louis Closet Company? Speaking of small business gurus. Well, St. Louis Closet Company, as you know, we're an official Toys for Tots drop-off location, and that goes all the way through December 17th. I want someone to bring in more than a truckload. More. How about a camper float full? More than a pickup <laughs> truck. A semi full of toys. We will we will take them. We'll happily help you unload them. They do have to be new toys. New toys. And unwrapped. Um, so we have that going on, which is really exciting. And if you bring a toy in today or tomorrow before 5 p.m., we are giving a $100 gift certificate for St. Louis Closet Company. Also, as you know, our McGraw Murphy bed special. Yes, flying off the shelves. Runs through the end of the year. Uh, that's twenty percent that off. Twenty percent off all Murphy beds at St. Louis Closet Company. And People, if you bring a toy, you get a hundred dollar gift certificate and twenty percent off. It's a sweet deal. I, I got You guys have to see these Murphy beds. Love it. How? More importantly, how is the Williams lawn cutting business going with his John Deere tractor? It, well, um, we just took out a second loan, <laughs> and he purchased a snowplow. Really? You would be very proud of him. He has spent the last three nights in the garage, freezing cold, concrete floor, installing the snowplow. He is ready. He's in hog heaven. He now is ready. Now all we ready. have to do is have it snow. Absolutely. But <laughs> yeah. you know what? A young entrepreneur, he's 13 years old, and he's making money. It's fantastic. That is so impressive. StLouisCloset.co.com for more information, or visit the showroom and drop off a toy, 2626 South Big Bend in Maplewood. Jennifer Williams, thanks, as always. Thank you. Good to see you. You got it. See you next month. That's uh, 9 o'clock, KTRS.